We have three. No, we have. Yes, we have three songs <laughs> by two women for John. Thank you very much. This is Living Room Request. This is Matt Redman. Patricia Hammond. Still the living room. Still the request. We're sitting down. <laughs> We're going to start with Can't We Be Friends by K Swift. And there it is from the show it was in. <sighs> wonderful piece thank you john for introducing me to it now Kay swift she lived till 95 years old and uh she was not only an advisor to george gershwin but also 
His lover. His lover. Mom she had a very approval. close relationship with George Gershwin, let's say, many matters. Yes. Yes, it did. Uh, yeah, her husband divorced her, but but George's mum didn't approve, you know. Um, he, he advised that she change her name from Catherine Faulkner to Kay Swift. And the last, if you remember, the last time we were actually on the lawn, it's too wet right now, um, but we were actually on the lawn and we did, um, we did another, uh, we did four songs by two women of the oh, sort well, of dance, was. dance era from John. And uh, that was Anne Ronell, who was uh, Anne Rosenblatt. And also George had recommended she change her name. What did he do? Go around telling all these women. It was Matt's point, actually, when we were looking at it. He said, what did he do? Tell these women to change their names i think in the case of anne rosenblatt well, he also got k swift into composing popular music yeah she was, and show tunes and you know she was classical she was a she classical was, uh, she's the definite art music and then you know she went on to write the first successful musical that was uh, penned by a by a woman on but on broadway really just a brown bit earlier than this song night tina you've got bits of the the that those headphones you put on have yeah. shed their bits on your neck and this side especially. How bad is it? It's it's pretty bad. Oh, it's all over the ear, the the, the, the neck. But will they be able to see on the video on that side? Well, um, probably not, but I know that if they did, you'd really be upset. How's Since that Since it's live, it's gone. Thanks, folks. So, uh, um, anyway, if you K enjoy Swift, that kind of thing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love Case Swift. Got to do another one of hers, maybe a couple of hers. It'll be really great. How wonderful. Yes. Yes. Thank you, John. Um, really love that song. Apparently it's famous. I've never heard it, um, but apparently it's famous. Um, now I can listen to it because then it won't it won't influence my go. approach. I like to remain pure. Are we having this in the <laughs> folder? Or, no. Yeah, in the folder. Are you having the folder? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Another lady we're moving on to now. Yes. This now this is Dana Seuss. Dana Seuss and... Um, I've written, a, I've written, a, I've written her dates, oh, sorry. Okay. 1911 to 1987. Another long. And she studied. She, she was known as the. Speaking of Gershwin, she was known as the girl Gershwin. Isn't that quite a sort of? <laughs> I don't know these monikers. Anyway, she studied with Liszt's last student, uh, Silotti, um, and she also studied with Boulanger, and also she wrote for um, Paul Whiteman. Mm. Asked her to compose something mm. for him called something in. Was it, Three rhythms. Three rhythms. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Um, Amazing. Rather wonderful. So Dana Seuss, we've already done her in uh, Living Room Request, also requested by John. And that was... Um, 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 uh, gosh, we did... Uh, we did. What was now, it called? I can't remember now. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful one. But I can I can remember the sound of it. My mind's in these. Songs. Yeah, exactly. My mind's in no, right we're, now. we're devoted to this right now. So. So let's devote. Let's ourselves devote ourselves to whistling in the dark. Whistling in the dark. And you're gonna get your special device. Well, you know it's inevitable, but I I I managed to dissuade him from having me do anything more than just a little bit of an intro. With the whistling. Starts thing. on this note. Thank you very. Right. Thank you very much. Here we go. Something 
say I'd go up I just went up I don't know it I seemed to... I sounded quite yeah lonely and dark and I, yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah I I was thinking there I because there's a couple of others we do we, we've done like what's that one the the me and the moon and man and the love before we, yeah. my silent love was the other one mm. no but I'm just thinking of songs of that of that of that message of, of mm. walking around at night and with nobody and you know and seeing other people having fun and mm. um there's that one um Oh my goodness! Um, the the cop on the beat, the man on the moon, and me, That's and a couple of much. others, very similar. Um, and you sort of think, oh, and you know, we we would call that person an incel now, would we? involuntarily celibate. Um, but back then, you know, you go around, you know, instead of writing hate on online, you just go around whistling in the dark. I mean, it was a different time. <laughs> I like that. Right. Now, thank you again to Pete for, for all the music for these. Thank you to John for all the requests. I want you guys to meet one day. Pete lives on the Isle of Wight and John lives in New the South Isle Wales. Of, the Isle of Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you're, you, but but it, it's rather wonderful. One requests the songs and, and, and pays for them. The other one sends us photocopies. This one he sent, Pete sent us the whole magazine that it came Very in. Kind. This is this is the uh, number nineteen um, edition of Popular Music and Dancing Weekly. This is volume one, February the sixteenth, nineteen thirty-five. I was I was sitting on the on the tube with Paul. I think it was Paul, and I went just reading up on this. You know, <laughs> no, it was Will. Mm. I was just reading up on the latest news, and this woman across on the tube sort of she laughed. That's she looked fine. at that. I said, "Oh no, you got to, it's it's all the latest news in dance in in, in the dance band scene." You know, like, discovers 10 new songwriters look they had a p cash prize for new songs and all these fellas looking fantastic I, it's, it's, <laughs> with little tiny pencil mustaches tiny glasses you know uh, from all i'm sorry this is way 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 extraneous but i love it it says uh 200 pound co songwriting competition full results of which were published but uh, 10 unknown people um an electrician a london bus driver a church organist a journalist and an accountant and an engineer are among the lucky ones to share the two hundred pound prize money. That's pretty good. Two hundred yeah. pounds. What is it? Between 30, them all, 35? I think. All right. Okay. Hey, listen. If you enjoy this kind of they thing, wrote songs. talking about Bless songs, them. not just singing uh, them, then you should subscribe to Fisher Hammond Songs because you know there are many, many, many more episodes. In fact, there's at least. 100 at least 100 other episodes of, of this just even just patricia and i sitting here in this very living room talking about songs and uh, people who sang them and singing them as well and if you like this particular video press thumbs up and you can make your request in the link below we're sitting down now you can't see my dress uh, it is a dress there we go i have worn it before we did oh, we we did it not in this series <laughs> not repeated an outfit once yet 100 which is crazy 
Um, but the, uh, we did, I did wear this in a concert we did where I did cowboy songs. We did cowboy songs. Bury Me Not in the Lone Prairie and, uh, sorry, this is, oh gosh, that's too much talking. Okay, right. This is You Ought to Be in Pictures, also by Dana Seuss. And it's quite lovely. And um, now, John has asked that we do not miss out any mm. of the names mentioned in the other basically there's a sort of there's a list of female stars listed and pretty much all of them you can identify um the male star is a little less so it mentions That's interesting, isn't it? it says um you're as handsome as a gable well we certainly know who that is um and healthy as a mix and that is mm. the first we were just talking about him a lot yeah cowboy tom mix and much more i think professionally mm. and um you photograph like a dicks that's Richard Dix. Yeah. Dick Dix. He was in the biggest picture, most expensive from RKO in uh, 1931. Epic. And Epic. Uh, that's roughly when the songs come from. Yes. But nobody talks about Dix anymore. I thought it was Otto Dix, and then we realized that was a painter. Wrong Dix. Wrong Dix. Right. You ought to be in pictures. Dix is sorted. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> As I look at you, a thought goes through my mind. What a marvelous find you'd make upon the screen. I am proud that I have you right by my side. But I'd be satisfied to lend you to the people to be seen.
That's very charming. So I'm going to play a bit slow so we can actually hear the words. Yes, know? yes, yes. I thought we practiced write them it down. and then I just thought, hang on, this is going to be too fast. That would be good for, mm. I've never been in a, I've never been in a, a pub quiz, but that would be a good pub quiz thing. Is that Somebody just sings that and everybody can, can write down. It's a really good idea. The names of those. How many times did Nick's actually get married? Oh, how many times did Tom Mix get married? I think Everybody? We, we looked, it was like four or five times. <laughs> and you found a hilarious thing. Either Luella Parsons or the other one said something like uh, uh, that, that at, his, at his actual residence, he had his name in yeah. lights on the roof. <laughs> what a guy. We were just thinking he was more, because you said so much about his uh, um, advertising. He really was more like one always... of those kind of influencer people these days. Yes, he was famous for being both in uh, silent films and talking films. And then, you know, they they, they sort of uh, played him up as a real genuine cowboy of the old West, even though he sort oh. of died as he grew up. But, but yeah, more so like getting hundreds, in equivalent modern money of hundreds of thousands of dollars every single week for being in the circus and just kind of appearing in things. But it was through advertising, through endorsements of products, right? I Well, I don't know, but I used to read a lot of magazines. Well, I still do. I mean, I read yeah. this on the tube. <laughs> I love it when it says the other songs. You know, we got here, obviously, you ought to be in pictures. We know that. Isle of Capri, we know that yeah. one. Faith, do we know that? Yeah. Little Dol Dutch Mill, do we know that? Bad Silly Girl. Does. Silly Girl, wouldn't that be funny? I'd like to request Silly Girl in honor of my girlfriend. <laughs> Sonoma, and then on the back, riding around in the rain. I think that's what people are doing right now, riding around in the rain. Ooh, is that out of the frame? That's probably out of the frame. There we go. There we go. Thank you so much for this celebration of more women dance number Absolutely. Absolutely writers. Absolutely right. Dance band and popular songs. Yeah. Thank you, John. Thank thanks you so John. much, and thanks everyone for watching. Thank See you, you next time, won't yes, we? Yes, next All time. All of you. Hopefully.